Your home with Build Aid on Mix 93.8. Proudly brought to you by AfriSam. AfriSam, creating concrete possibilities. Build Aid on Mix 93.8 FM. Good evening. My name's Graham Alexander. In the studio, as usual, Simon looking after the desk and Kay looking after all of us. Yeah, and I've got a, a cool question tonight. I think it's not hard. Promise. <laughs> I have three eerily true quotes from three different musicians, and I want everyone to guess who said these things. You only have to get one. Okay, so the first one is, I'd rather be dead than cool. Second one is, it's boring to be 70. I don't want to be there. I'll be dead and gone. I don't have any aspirations to be 70. And the third quote is, society has traditionally always tried to find scapegoats for its problems. Well, here I am. Okay. <laughs> this, this is when Simon and I look at each other and go, yep. Yeah, but you, you just, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, you just doff, doff oaks. So if you know the answer to this question, SMS us on 41348 and you could win some ice cream and it's almost your last chance to win some delicious water ice cream. Is, that, is that before it becomes winter? Before it becomes really, really cold and we might just change its flavor and it'll give us time to oh. get into the into the kitchen to do that. So SMS us on 41348. Build Aid on Mix. My name's Graham Alexander. I'm going to be chatting to Herman Rolfus, the CEO of Wispico. Herman, thanks so much for coming to chat to us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Wispico is um, a pretty strong brand, particularly if you've been in the building industry um, as long as I have. Uh, if you don't know the, the term or the brand Wispico, then maybe you weren't listening. <laughs> yeah. How long has how Wispico been around? Wispico has been around since 1921. It's, it actually started as um, Wire Industry Steel Products Engineering Company. Um, today, uh, it's fully in aluminium. It went through its history in various other involvements as well, uh, particularly steel and steel garage doors and windows and things like that. But nowadays, it's an aluminium company. How did you get into to the construction industry, Herman? It was a little bit by default, actually. Uh, we got involved uh, in 1997 as, as management consultants in, in a project at Wispeco. And uh, since then, it uh, just, you know, climbed into my heart and I've been there ever since. So, yeah. And what were you doing before? Because uh, you're a mechanical engineer. That's right. Yeah, I started... I started in the gold mining industry uh, with Anglo-American and after that joined a management consulting company and then got involved with Wispeco in 97. Okay, so you, you swapped gold mining for the building industry. Yeah, I'm quite happy <laughs> most, to do most so. Most people would ask you why. <laughs> no, I'm quite happy to do okay, so. Great. I said to the guys, you know, I, I can't just worry about getting something out of a big hole in the, in the earth, you know, so yeah. certainly now I don't. Um, with Pico, it's probably well known for, for making windows uh, um, um, in your history. I think you also did garage doors. You were also very strong in steel windows. Um, but, but where you're at now is you guys make aluminium profiles. Correct. Yeah, I think um, because of our history in aluminium windows, people still think we do make aluminium windows. But we actually make aluminium extrusion profiles, which are designed to manufacture and, and together to make a window. But we have, you know, almost 2,000 clients around the country who buy profiles and hardware accessories from us, and they make our windows using our design software as well. You also have a, a brand that we're going to chat about in, in a lot of detail just now called Crealco. Um, that's an extension or subsidiary or a brand of, of Wispico? It's not a subsidiary. It's a product brand. Um, the uh, the Wispeco brand, as some listeners may know, was also linked to steel roll-up garage doors, which we don't own anymore today. And at a point in time, we, we were looking for something fresh. We came up with this as a product brand uh, in the early 2000s. And it's basically today a, a brand which carries a basket of products, and it's a full range of products that can basically... Um, offer any kind of architectural solution for aluminium windows and doors. Just a little bit more, more history, if, if, if we can. Um, way back, and you'll remind me, you, you guys made the first patio door, didn't you? Yes, it started in the, oh, in the aluminium 1970s. patio door. Yeah, I think in the 1970s, Wispeco was the first company to import an aluminium patio door into this country. It was, uh, as far as we know, named the Arcadia door. And it, it led us to getting involved in the manufacturing of 
of uh, aluminium sliding doors, then windows, eventually louver windows. Um, in, the, in the 80s, we bought our first extrusion press, and really today we are sitting at the back of the supply chain manufacturing aluminium profiles and finishing them and supplying them to a, to a whole industry that's making doors and windows today. Yeah, I remember there was a whole era of, of people putting in an aluminium patio door. It didn't matter what the house looked like or the other windows, but you had to have a patio door. As long as it had an aluminium patio <laughs> door. Yes, I can remember that. It was a whole industry, you know, yeah. going in and knocking a hole in the wall and putting a, a, a patio door in. Today it's commonplace. Yeah. Herman, just to understand your, your supply chain, is you, you making the aluminium profiles and you have a number of distributors, I think you've got a hundred and something distributors that, that use this to make windows. Yeah. And you're providing the, the computer systems and programs and whatever to, to allow them to do that. Correct. There's a whole supply chain. We're sitting right at the back of it. We manufacture the profiles and finish them either powder coated or anodized. We then would supply them to a range of distributors around Southern Africa. Uh, we have many, many, many of them, of which about 35 are official distributors. They would then supply to fabricators who would manufacture the windows or the doors for your house. Um, most of them would typically do the installation. Um, we also offer software for these down, uh, down the value chain or down the supply chain. Software is f used by fabricators, software used for architects, um, eventually compliance software that ensures compliance to the new thermal um, building regulations as well. Yeah. So the fabrication process um, would be in big factories, small factories, depending on where, where your fabricators are. But they're doing it in accordance with the software that they've used, which is software you've provided. Correct. Today, about, about two-thirds of, of um, windows going into, into buildings today go through smaller fabricators. In other words, through a supply chain which would involve a stockist of the profile selling off the shelf to a smaller fabricator. And one-third goes through so-called mass manufacturers. Um, but, but, and most of the ones that go through stockists would use our software to design uh, windows and doors that are compliant um, to the new regulations, both mechanical and thermal regulations. Yeah. How many fabricators do you have, more or less? We have about there's about there's probably around two thousand in the country, and sure. and about eighty percent of them use our software to design and manufacture their the the windows and the doors. Yeah. Do any of your fabricators make standard windows that they would sell in a shop, or you could walk in and buy one? Yeah, the world has really moved on to more custom design things. And although there are standard sized products, um, our building trade is such that that uh, building is built, the, the opening is then measured and the, and the window is made to size. So really the whole supply chain or two thirds of the supply chain cater for that need. Uh, so it really gives to the, to the homeowner and the end user complete flexibility uh, in terms of his requirements for his own building. Um, Herman, one of your, one of your um, services or systems um, is called USOLVE. Um, and I don't want to steal the thunder, but I know in architecture, everyone out there that's in architecture is going, have you done your fenestration calculations? And they all go, oh, won't somebody do it for me? Um, and, and you have the solution. Yes, we do. The, it's a software package called USOLVE, and it basically calculates actual certified U values for our range of our full range of aluminium windows and doors. The new building regulations, which were promulgated in um, in November, I think 2012, um, basically requires that every element of a building envelope is now a thermal barrier. So. You can think of a window as a window, but today uh, the guys who approve building plans think about it as a thermal barrier. And therefore, windows today need thermal properties, insulative thermal properties. And basically, the use of software is, is, was developed to assist architects and f fabricators of aluminium windows to calculate certified U values and solar heat gain coefficients for the windows that uh, they design using our software. So it's an Agrimus certified uh, software package um, that assists architects to design and to optimize also, because you can severely over-design when you go for thermal design. Um, and and what, is, what is nice about use of it as a costing function in. So uh, an architect who designs those windows can constantly optimize compliance in terms of the thermal barrier requirements versus cost. Herman, is this a 
tool that somebody downloads or, or does someone send or speak the drawings and you do it? How, do, how does it work? No, it's a very, very simple piece of software. Um, you, you, there's a link on our website for it. So you register. It's free of charge. Uh, you download it. Um, a password is sent to you and then uh, the program is active, I think, for a period of three months. It's very, very simple to use. There's really um, no training needed. You need to know what you're trying to achieve which most architects do and even fabricators, but it's very simple in its use. So there's really, you know, it's at at the click of a mouse, um, takes you through the process and eventually does the full thermal calculations that the law requires now for for buildings, for new buildings. From a consumer's point of view, um, uh, someone building a home might not have even bumped into this yet. The the architect may not even have shared this um, um, with a client, although they should have. Um, but it's also something that one needs to uh, ensure happens on site. Okay. Um, just to touch on this a little bit more, the use solve um, solution or, or piece of software is it's 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 quite a complicated calculation that the architect needs to go through because it's it's thermal properties, it's solar heat gain, um, how much shading. Um, is there from the roof and so on so Herman it does all of that it does all of that so the architect would choose his configuration a very simple process of making up the design Uh, the software will immediately flag or stop him from doing anything that is outside of the regulations in terms of mechanical properties Um, uh, it then calculates the thermal properties it also um, asks for the orientation and the installation of the window into the house so shading comes into it the software asks him for overhang it asks him for um, wind direction, etc., and then does the full sounds calculation in terms of, of total heat flow through the fenestration per story of a building. Herman, before I say goodbye to you, um, let's see who the winner was. The winner, Astrid, just because she's a chicken. She's so clever. <laughs> <laughs> and all of your winners, though, because you, you got it right. Gail, Gisela, Brian, Anton, B, and Charlene were the last uh, few who got it right. And what you got right was Kurt Cobain of Nirvana, and there's my religious sounding spiritual term, said I'd rather be dead than cool. And we're going to play out um, with a little bit of Nirvana to remind you of who he was. So Kay, thank you for looking after all of us, and Simon looking after the desk, and Ian out here filming the whole thing. Don't forget to tell everyone it's the silver fox coming on after us now. (laughs) The silver fox is on after us. <laughs> yeah, we usually we usually do a bit of a promo here for Adam Ford Cortina, but apparently he's got man flu. Worst um, kind of flu. The worst, yeah. And and Simon plays some really really good music. But a special thanks to to Herman Rolfus. Herman, thank you so much for coming to chat to us. Thank you, Graham. I enjoyed it. Thank That's you Herman very much. from from Wispico. And folks, we do this every Wednesday between 6 and 7. Chat to you next week. Ciao. Your home with BuildAid on Mix brings you all sorts of interesting info about building. Graham Alexander chats to different guests every Wednesday evening between 6 and 7. Proudly brought to you by AfriSam. AfriSam, creating concrete possibilities.